I have never understood, guys, why so many people like summer so much. I can't stand it. I hate summer. Summer is the worst season of all to me. That's why I left Texas. I hate it. Hate it, hate it. I hate the heat. I hate sweating to death. I hate the sun, like, you know, beating you down every single time you step outside. I hate the damn having to stay in the air conditioning all day <laughs> uh, in order just to be comfortable. Like, that's why I love Texas. Fuck, I hate it. I hate summer. And summer has, like, I guess it's associated with people that are very extroverted and they like to, you know, go out and meet new people and party and all this shit. Think Florida. It's like the number one state for summer lovers. Fuck, I hate summer. And I fucking hate Florida too. In my opinion, Florida's a complete fucking shithole. Nothing but, I mean, this might be a stereotype, but nothing but like <laughs> preppy, you know, money chasing motherfuckers out there in Florida that, you know, all about, uh, they're all about like, you know, the next dopamine hit. And if you're not making a hundred thousand dollars at minimum, then you're poor, you know, that fucking mindset. And well, Flo Texas isn't like that in that same respect, but you still got to deal with the fucking the heat and all that shit. And fuck, that's why I was like, since I was six years old, I wanted to move to Alaska. And it's the exact opposite mindset up here. We don't give a fuck about like, uh, like how much money you make or the, the, like the big badass car that you drive. Like none of that shit matters up here. Okay. Because it's all about survival. We know the cold, we know the cold up here in Alaska. And that sets us apart from all the other 49 states in the USA, because people that live here generally, they live here by choice. Guys, they live here by choice. They live here because they want to live here. And me of all people, I think I'm a shining example of that because I moved here and it was a fucking hell to move to Alaska. I moved here from Texas back in 2020 and I fell in love with it just like I knew I would. Like, I hate the midnight sun. That's really the only thing because I can't fucking sleep. But other than that, I love everything. Nobody really owns an air conditioner. All you got to do is open the damn window. Uh, I like that you can put more clothes on and layer up when you go outside in the winter because you can't take all your clothes off as much as I would love to do that. <laughs> uh, it's illegal and I can't do that <laughs> in those hot states like Texas. But my point being, it's that, um, you know, you, you summer loving people that Florida, Hawaii and all that shit. It just... It just, it's, it, I guess to each their own. It's not my forte. I just think I don't understand summer people is really what I'm getting at. I don't understand summer people that actually enjoy summer. Like <laughs> they have to have something wrong with them. I hate the fucking sun. I do. I hate the fucking sun. I'm in the perfect state then because we really don't have, we have what we call a sunset sun in Alaska in the winter where the sun just barely touches the horizon for about four hours and goes straight back down. Unfortunately, you've got to take vitamin D and you've got to get a happy light or an SAD light, uh, seasonal affective disorder light. But um, do that 30 minutes a day and you're good. I like, I enjoy the process. I enjoy that there's not that many people up here. I enjoy that Alaska has an extreme climate that few can tolerate. I enjoy that. Call it clout, call it whatever you want to call it, but I enjoy it. And I, I don't know what other word to use, but I get off to that. And it's, 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 it's great. Winter, uh, it's always been associated throughout all of human history. Winter has been associated with death and rebirth, death and rebirth. Like everything dies, everything goes into hibernation in nature and it's reborn after winter is over. And it's like a, like a, 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 a rite of passage. I don't know how else to put that, but a rite of passage. And I like that. That's, that's my favorite thing about Alaska is it's like a, it's like being reborn almost not to sound melodramatic, but, um, it's like being reborn, like as you endure winter. 
and progress through it with the darkness and the, you know, a lot of us live in isolation up here. <laughs> Alcohol is a major problem in Alaska. It's illegal in certain boroughs, not in Anchorage or Wasilla or Balmer, but like those, those uh, villages up in the north, like Nome. Uh, I know most of you don't even know what I'm talking about that don't live in Alaska, but Nome, uh, Yukayavik, um, what is that, Bethel? These places where alcohol, because it's a major problem. People die of it. I'm getting off topic, but um, that's my point, that we live a completely different lifestyle than the rest of the United States up here in Alaska, and I enjoy that. I like that. If Alaska didn't exist, I would already be long gone, long gone from Alaska. I mean, from the USA, bro. I, I do, I'm, I'm Just to be honest, I don't like the USA culturally. Uh, and socially, I think it's the worst place you could ever raise a family. Oh, God forbid if you ever got married here. <laughs> the laws are stacked against men. Hello. And it, it, it doesn't have those same values that it used to have, like, think, 60 years ago, 70 years ago. And it's unfortunate, but that's why... I'm like, man, I don't want to be in the United States anymore. No if Alaska, like I said, if Alaska didn't exist, I'd be long gone. Like, my destination already is Mexico after winter's over. Like, done with the USA. Plenty of better women over there. Once again, I'm getting off topic. But the whole point of this video is people that like winter, they're a rare breed. And I've actually, I learned something today. People that are just content in life, just content, are exceedingly rare. And I guess, not to prop myself up, but I guess I am exceedingly rare in that, that sense because I'm up here completely solo, isolated in Alaska from my friends and my family and you know, even the girl that I'm talking to in Mexico. I'm up here just with my dog, my two cats, and that's it. And I'm content with it, and I enjoy the isolation, darkness, and seclusion. And I think that's a very rare uh, quality to uh, possess, <laughs> for lack of a better term. But anyways, I, these cigars, man, I swear to God. Anyways, Barley goes out. I'm enjoying brandy. How do you guys like my office setup? I got my liquor over here, uh, my brandy, my control, my rum. Uh, I already ran out of my mixer, my lime, my lime juice. And my cigars. You can see the, maybe you can see the snow and the icicles out there right now. I love my office. My phone, I think I will get it set up actually. My, uh, my old school 1960s telephone. I used to use it back in the day because this is this is basically the shit that I grew up with when I was a kid. Anyways, Broly was out. Peace. And yeah, winter is awesome. If you can't hand it, you're a bitch. <laughs>